What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on Black Desert and today we are going to be doing part two of our um, promotion quest, our combat promotion quest right here to kill 200 people at the Sawzins garrison. Doesn't pop up on the side of the screen which kind of annoys me because I have too many quests. But also in this video we have some new armor, or not armor, but we have new uh, outfit to put on. So, I still really like the outfit I have on now, but I did, I do like this a, a, a decent amount, and so I decided to pick it up, and so we are going to go ahead and use it. I don't like the helmet, so I don't need to put the helmet on. Um, the XP boost you get for four parts is really nice, but I get four, I get the combat XP, the XP boost for the armor that I really like, so... I also needed a skin for my scythe, and so, yeah, I am happy with this. It's just a different look that we can put on from time to time. It uh, it looks aight. I mean, it, isn't, it ain't the greatest, but, uh, you know, I've been rocking that one armor for two and a half, or that one skin for like two and a half months or something like that. It's been, it's been a while. It's been a while. Because I bought it when it first came out in May. So it's it's been a while. It was time to try out a different outfit. And so this fit the bill. And I haven't been spending any money on this game. And I needed some expansion slots for Altanova anyway. And so I just decided to pick it up. Because why the heck not? Treat yourself every once in a while. So... Okay. There's one person here. I don't, I'm not trying to steal your farm spot, so let me, let's try to go up and around over here. I'm hoping that I can handle these guys, and that I don't actually just get wrecked. Okay, can I get to the other side of this wall, please? The other side is the, I'm slightly worried, because this is kind of the, um... This is the team spots where people farm as a team. So we'll see. We'll see if I can handle this. Oh, yeah, I can handle this. Might be a little... My t Is my TV volume on? Oh, my TV volume is on. Okay. Back to, back to the farm. Yeah, I could definitely handle this. That's good. I was kind of worried that I wouldn't be able to handle it, and I was... Uh, I was wor- oh, no. Okay, never mind. I totally missed saw something. I thought I saw someone on the map coming over here, and I was like, oh, gosh. Here comes my death. I'm going to get my cheeks destroyed by, by some random. But actually, this may be become, since I can handle this, this might actually become my farm spot during the day. So, like, I know this is a popular farm spot, and so, I don't want to fight people here, and I don't want to have to keep switching servers. And I don't expect other people... I'm going to make a video on proper farm etiquette, like uh, proper uh, farm spot etiquette and grind spot etiquette. But uh, the point is... Can I get up this? Jump over? there? What is hit? What just hit me? Hey, cannoneer, leave me alone. Okay. Kite these guys up. But point is, is that... I don't really expect other people to have the best etiquette, so I, um, I'm not gonna sit here and, like, switch servers over and over again, fighting people for the farm spots here. But, I know if I, um, to get on during the day when none of the servers are crowded, I should have no problem. That's me attempting to try to use some form of logic here. Okay, everybody. Hello. I'm going to try to come over here and spin the wind. Hello, everybody. Can we all group up here? So I can use my big attack. Oh my gosh, I just love this attack so much. It just slaughters. It absolutely just slaughters. I think it's my favorite attack on Sor Sorceress now. And I mean, as you could see in yesterday's video, it is kind of vi it's viable if you're getting like ganked in PvP. 
uh it's not all that i don't think it's like all that viable like one-on-one because you're just standing in the airs and you can get knocked out of it if you if you had um hyper armor in it and you couldn't get knocked out of it it would be a lot better and i think it would almost be like i don't know it would be usable it's it's usable in it's probably usable in large scale pvp where you have someone that can kind of cover you while you're using it but in solo one-on-one probably not but in in like gank when you're trying to like kill a gank squad then yeah it's good it gets the job done we're gonna finish this really quick i didn't think we'd finish this as quick because i thought i would have troubles killing stuff um i think i've i've done i've done thousands as a group before when i was like level fit this is like my only like my second time ever farming thousands because i always knew i was too weak usually and we're getting decent experience. I don't have any buffs on right now because I didn't know how this would go. And I didn't expect to like farm this for that long. So I didn't want to waste. I'm trying to save my experience things for when I'm actually trying to grind experience. Hey pets, you want to pick all this crap up? Thank you. Everybody can come over here if you want. Back it up. And I'm going to use this again. But yeah, I'm trying to save them. I don't have a crap ton of them anymore i used to have like 13 or 14 but i used them on my ninja and i'll probably want to use some on my shy when i'm trying to get her to 56 so it's just kind of one of those things i have to kind of be a little bit more conscious of it i guess this is really nice that there's nobody here to bother me and i can just kind of farm this to my heart's content try to get this off Do the back spins, create a little distance, and then swing back through. So I need to get back. I, I don't know. For farming these areas where I'm like clearly stronger, it kind of doesn't make sense to just, you know, force my rotation. I might as well just have fun and kill stuff because, I mean, what's the point of the rotation if I'm, you know, absolutely destroying stuff with my spin to win? It's just slower to do my rotation if I'm just destroying stuff. I guess that's my point. Okay, so we're going to go back and see what the next part of this quest has to offer for me. Um, depending on what it is, we'll determine what we do with... The... Hello? These cannoneers are OP. Chill, brother. Okay. Let's wa Let's just run back. We're really close. Granted, it's the same area. Okay. But yeah, I wanted to get a new outfit anyway. And this is kind of the best outfit that's been out in a while. I like, I don't know, I'm a sucker for stuff that has like back, back like, uh, back accessories, I guess. Okay, I'm killing these guys because this is a lot of enemies right here. Um, but yeah, I'm a sucker for stuff that gives like back I don't know, I want to say back bling because of stupid Fortnite, because that's what I think of now. But, um, like, like just back gear, back accessories, I guess, like wings, like in, uh, the only other MMORPG, I mention this every once in a while, but the only other MMORPG that I ever, like, really dedicated a bunch of time into was Conquer Online, and the archers in the, that game could get actual, like, angel wings on their back. And so, yeah, I was, like, big into that. I was, like, an archer main, and I was I was a very, very big into that. So, anything that, like, obviously this has kind of, like, those feathers hanging out the back that kind of look like very thin wings, or uh, what else is there? There's, I don't know what it's taking me here for. I don't, this isn't right, but... Oh, well, we'll kill some more guys, have a little fun doing this, and then we'll head our way back. But I uh, totally lost my train of thought. But, yeah, and then on my my other one that I really like, it has that, uh, it has the kind of lacy thing on the back on each side. 
So I really like that. And there's the cape on one that I thought about getting. The outfits just don't, not a lot of them have like the back, the back accessories that I really like. Don't ask me where I got that. Like this does, this doesn't, but I do really like this. It had like a better back, it had a back accessory. You could almost convince me to get it. I just don't really like how, that could have been, like I said before, that could have been a really good one, but it just wasn't. Um, this one, it kind of has a back thing with the fur. It's not really full back, but I do like that one. The marine one, it was like, uh, the marine one actually was in consideration, I'm gonna be honest. What was it? The Lars Arsian one was the one that I thought about. This is one that I thought about. I really like this one. This one has like this kind of cool cape on the back. I heavily thought about picking up this one. Um, and we still might. I'm a sucker for cosmetics in my games. And I'm not planning to quit maining swords. Yeah, this one. I like this one, too. It's got that, like, um, kind of lace silk back cape type of thing. Um, but, yeah, I'm not planning to stop maining sorceress anytime soon. So I'm not really, you know, I'm fine buying a bunch of different outfits and mixing them up from video to video. Uh, but I will have a major channel update. I'm going to try to mention this regularly uh, before I release it. So after the beta, I, eh, yeah, a after the beta, I think, maybe before. We'll see. Pro actually, actually, probably before the beta. Just before the beta, I'm going to do a big channel update to talk about a couple of things for you guys. Uh, I still have it fully fledged out exactly what I want to say in it and what, what I need to say in it. But, but, um... Yeah, there will be some decent updates in that. Regarding Black Desert and regarding like everything. So, yeah, you'll wanna you'll wanna tune into that if you watch the channel regularly. Cause it'll be an it'll be a decently important channel update. Okay. Porio, you got rid of the Sawzins, you're not half bad, thanks. Okay, so now we need to we need to give a blackstone weapon and a blackstone armor to Porio. That's uh that's different. So I gotta go get ten blackstone armor and ten blackstone weapon. For the sake of time, because that's gonna that would take a while to farm. I'm gonna go to the nearest central market and just take that out. Did mine sell? Okay, mine sold. So I just got to buy 10 of each and then bring them back here. So I'm going to cut it here and we will be back in a moment to give him the Blackstone armor and weapon. And we're back. All right. So I have everything I need to hand over to Porio. Is this enough? And I'll also give you this. All right. So we got that completed. I'm going to grab some experience out of that. And it looks like that is... Looks like that is it for our quest with Porio. So that is it for combat promotion. Got us a little bit of experience, like 10% or something like that. Um, I do want to do some of this different stuff. Not right now, but I want to get to some of this stuff in uh, other episodes as we progress along here. Uh, not sure what I want to do. So if anybody has any suggestions on what they would like to see, just... Uh, let me know and I will do my best to get them to get them done for you guys. Uh, but let's go over, let's go farm thousands a little bit more before we call it an episode. I'm trying to get to the thousands area that I want. I think it's up this hill. So we'll try to get to like 60%. I need to get my character to level seven or 70 level 60 or 59 60 i think it's 60 i need to get to 60 because whenever they drop camisil i want to be able to do it and i'm assuming we're going to get that sooner rather than later so i need to get on top of this and get get working on it that's really the main reason why i'm putting this the ninja on i don't know getting just dropping the ninja because to me it didn't make any sense I need to get this character. I can play the, I can play the shy and make videos on shy without actually like affecting my, my like time that I play the sorceress because like half of my time spent on the sorceress isn't even, 
related to leveling. And I mean, so it's like I could still level, or the time that I spend on my shy, I mean, doesn't necessarily mean I would have spent that time leveling my sorceress. So I don't know. It's kind of like whatever. But like part of my video making time. Okay. Well, now I have competition here for kills. Okay, hold on. We're gonna try one thing. This is a tip that I'm gonna post in. A, I'm gonna do some like preparing for different stuff, like preparing for you know getting ready tips and tricks for people starting on PlayStation. This is one of them. If you go to a grind spot, you don't want to mess with PvP. You want to have some decent etiquette. Just swap servers. I'm being serious. Just swap servers to and and usually if you swap like to this one this one doesn't even say it's crowded i would be a little bit surprised if the, it'd be a little bit surprised if there was someone here this is one of those spots where it wouldn't necessarily surprise me at all if someone was here but you can cycle through servers to find grind the grind spot you got you got plenty of options on xbox at least i don't know how many servers they're going to release on playstation it'll be interesting to see because they have the they have the, um, yeah, see, there's no one here. They have the competition of, like, Final Fantasy 15, or 14, Final Fantasy 14. And so I'm not sure how well Black Desert's going to do on PlayStation. I know it needed to come out, but I'm not sure how well it's going to do. It might be one of those games where it gets, like, a little bit of cult following now. And then when, because Shadowbringers just came out on Final Fantasy, so I can't imagine they're going to get too many people like that are dedicated to Final Fantasy games to even check this out right now. So it might be a, it might be a case of like they, they release this, they get some people playing it, and then when Final Fantasy dies down a little bit, people are getting a little bit bored because Shadowbringers has been out for a while, so like a couple months or something is when they really pick up, like, extra players. But we'll see. Because the Xbox has a fair amount of servers. We haven't had new servers added in a while, which signals to me we've stabilized at this many players, pretty much. But we'll find out. We'll see when the next big update comes out, because I'm sure there's people that have maxed the game, kind of, for this stage, just waiting for other content to drop before they come back and play. That would be my guess. But we'll grind this out for just a little bit, not too long. And then we'll call it, we'll call it an episode. Thought he was going to knock me out of my attack. The experience here is pretty good. I might do an hour, might do some time here, and it, the, the two places that I think are the next two farm spots that we're going to do to try to level the character up here is some time here uh, and some time at Elric Shrine. Those are the two places I have not farmed a lot that people like. People like those two areas for farming, so I'm definitely going to get in on that action and farm uh elric shrine is kind of weird i definitely like this better it's an easier kind of easier rotation of kills and there's a lot more there's a lot more mob density then i think after that i need to farm helms but helms is not fun to farm but i need to farm helms so helms if we're being honest helms is probably next and then, then we're going to get fun, and I think I'm going to go to Pirates finally. I have not gone to Pirates at all, so it'll be a new experience, but I think that's going to be next after. So that'll be, that's a ways away, obviously, but I do want to go to Pirates, and so that's probably uh, in our future is Pirates. So that should, that'll be, that'll be a lot of fun. Um, I'm probably aiming to go there when I hit like 59, not 59. 58 when i hit 58 so the rest of this level and one more level then we'll probably head and check out pirates it's kind of tragic that i haven't checked out pirates 
kind of like how they're lined up here. I can just kind of spin down the aisle here. Thought those guys were a little closer, but that's all right. We're still going to catch them. Spin through. I'm happy that I can ki I'm killing stuff. I feel like I'm progressing. The next thing that I want to get is I think I want to get a either four. I might do, I might try to get the pent scythe. That might be my next goal. I need to get a, actually my next goal is a helmet. I want a really good helmet so I can socket this into it. Uh, it's not on me, it's in my storage. But I have like a really good crystal that I got from that quest that we have we did. Um, not this, not the one today. The combat promotion from yesterday's video. That's the, we got a really good helmet crystal from that. And so I want to socket it, but I want it in, a, in an item that I'm going to be using for a while. And a... Is my helmet duo? I think my helmet's a duo. Is my helmet duo? Yeah, my helmet's a duo. And, like, duo, I'm not going to be using that long. The goal... So, I want to upgrade that first. Those are my two main goals right now, is to get a... Is to get a better awakening weapon, because I use this thing all the time. Especially for farming. And then it's to get... Uh, the better helmet. Probably get the helmet first so I can put that gem in, but we'll see. Kind of just, kind of just depends on what becomes easier to buy, because I'm waiting on them. Pretty much have to wait for them to show up on the auction house. I need about like, I don't know, eight hundred mil, which is a lot, but that's kind of where we are, and I'm overweight. Kind of a something, kind of a trick here is that you can still come, you can still fight at full pace. So if you just spin to win to get everywhere, you're technically not overweight. I'm not having to heal, and that's kind of that's kind of the big reason why I'm not why I'm overweight. Because I bought a bunch of extra potions because I thought I would die here, and I just didn't, and it was good stuff. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna toss some of these delete get rid of 20 of those get rid of 30 of these 30 thank you there we go now we're not we're not overweight anymore but I think the next video will be I don't know what we're gonna do for the next video but I'm gonna do Elric shrine before this and I think Elric shrine will be Elric Shrine will just be a half hour. I'm just going to do a half hour at Elric Shrine. And then when we do this, I'm going to do it in a large chunked video that you guys can watch. I'll drop in with frequent updates and frequent time spent killing. So you guys will get to enjoy that. Be probably like five minute increments of like one rotation through this area. And I'll update you guys on how it's going. But that'll probably be like a two hour farm. Or longer, maybe longer, maybe a three-hour farm. I am pretty much, there aren't any games out right now. We're waiting for a lot of the fall games to come out, which is another thing I want to update on the channel. I'm not going to be playing all of them, but um, I do play a fair amount of games, so there will be some other stuff that's not Black Desert up in late September because we've got a lot of good games coming out. And some that I think people who play MMOs would enjoy, like, Monster Hunter. We got Code Vein, which I think is going to be fun to play through. Okay, let's get out of this area and go down here. So yeah, I'm kind of just blabbing on at this point in the video, which is kind of what tends to happen when you're farming. I mean, there's only there's only so much you can talk about in a farm. Ooh, am I gonna am I gonna die here? My shield wore off. I always forget to keep an eye on that. And then stuff like this happens where I almost die. Don't really have anything on me to lose, so I don't really care, but would prefer not to die. All right, let's wrap this up. We'll do a couple of more 
spin the winds in this area and we'll wrap it on up i am interested to see what kind of experience i get here with uh my xp buffs on with double xp and my t's and all of that different stuff i'm interested to see it'll be be pretty interesting to see what we get spin through Essentially, I just play this character with farming as a spin-to-win character. It really is a spin-to-win character. Okay. I think there's one more cluster over here, and then we will call it an episode. I want to... Let me over. I want to use my big attack. Hey, everybody come over here. There we go. I want to kill, ma I want maximum carnage out of that. I want it to kill, like, everybody. Get it off. Get oh, you didn't get it off. Oh, I'm too, ha I'm overweight again. Just got to spin to win. It's my movement right now. It's my overweight. I got to spin to win. Okay. So, yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Um... Got that quest done, uh, which was nice. Now we will either go questing in the next episode. I'm not sure. Um, I don't... I think I might start shy tomorrow, so do keep an eye out for that. That might be tomorrow's episode, is starting up the shy playthrough. Now, the shy playthrough is going to be short, like six, seven episodes. It's not going to be incredibly long. And so... And I want to get it done before the PlayStation release, so keep that in mind. But that's going to do it, guys. A little bit of blabbling at the end, just talking, uh, just kind of hanging out, chilling, talking to you guys. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.